All right, all right, guys, and welcome to Nazir Rank Game. As you can see, it seems like we're having a rematch versus Envy Carry. Uh, it is going to be a pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting game here. I'm pretty sh sure that this is going to be hype and entertaining. Um, yeah, um, he should still be kind of worried <laughs> about the defeat I handed him in an earlier game. So let's let's find out if he, he has something uh, in store for us because we have adapted. We've gone for the Ignite Hail of Blades and um, going for the full aggressive playstyle and, and, and item build. I'm pretty curious as to how this is going to, out, uh, to play out. Um, also, I'm curious when the loading screen is going to end. But yeah, things aside. Uh, this is a high elo game, basically complete grandmaster elo. Um, yeah, I'm kind of always stuck struggling around 300 LP, which is a, a good mark, definitely. I've hit some 400 uh, marks uh, mark already, but also um, would want to kind of kind of stay on that 400 LP range and, and slowly but surely increase my LP. Um, so yeah, that is going to be interesting. Um, Let's see, we have an Echo one trick in our jungle role. Uh, our bot lane is, I think I've seen them play a lot together. I've, I basically have seen everyone in my team already. And obviously I know Envy Carry. Um, let's see how he's playing the matchup. I consider it a losing matchup for Silas just because of the fact that um, he can't really get close on you normally um, without uh, risking to get altered by you, um, or at least taking a lot of damage in return while trying to disengage the trade after he committed his rotation and you kited him backwards a bit. At some point he has to turn away, which is the usual point um, at which he just uh, gets absolutely demolished um, in the trades. I have to be careful though, his all-in rotation is pretty dangerous. He has, with the Conqueror stacks he gains um, and his uh, frequent and strong auto attacking with the passive, um, that is kind of his win condition because there's a lot of all-in damage from his side and with the Conqueror plus W, he has a lot of uh, healing against what I can dish out, so hence I'm running the Hail of Blades rune. Okay, there's a um, good that we have a ward in there. <coughs> I think we have to take the map split, so I'll let him push. Actually, him pushing is pretty pretty weak for him because at some point once the wave is in front of my turret he has no way of really of really farming um yeah it's going to be a real struggle for him this lane trying to maximize my damage is pretty important in this matchup i need to counterbalance it just a bit um he's going to use q and the wave again so yeah Keep that in mind. The wave being in front of my turret is really important here because of um, if it was pushing to him, obviously the Grace would have had an easy time ganking. So let's have a look at how this wave is situated, how his HP is. It would be lovely if I hit level 3 before him, that would make things a lot easier. Um, it's unlikely though, well, maybe with this one. Yeah, that is that is doom. <laughs> this matchup. Um, I have to play it uh, a little bit precise now because he will definitely be able to TP on this wave. I'm just not certain if he will. If he ta waits too long, yeah. If he waits too long, this wave is just gonna stack up so hard that I can push it in without him being able to contest. So I am pretty sure he's complaining <laughs> at this point. It seems logical. There's a Graves running straight bot side, so respect that, please, will you? He's already rather low again with the Hail of Blades and the wave in front of my turret. He is unable to trade at all. So this is where I want to push it. Let's find out if he's going to contest aggressively. Otherwise, I can just stay one more wave and get to 1.300. Okay, there's a Grace, he's running for Scuttles, left, right and center. <laughs> this wave is reset, I have to go back. 
Um, we have to give Grace both scuttles there. Echo showed for the gank, so Grace gets the um, scuttle priority. I mean, that is pretty, pretty clear. Um, I just hope that the Grace doesn't invade here. Um, I backed on the cannon minion wave, so basically apart from the cannon minion, I lost one minion, which is absolutely great. He is not even level 5 yet. Um, the solo kill, solo kill really came to fruition there. <clears throat> I have to push this wave. And I'm pretty certain that he, uh, Silas is going to be in time. So my best chance is get a deep ward here. Okay. Although he's not really interested in freezing it apparently. Holy, that uh, that is absurd how much damage I deal right now with a rotation. And actually this wave is not really going to be uh, freezing for him. Because he wants to last it with um, abilities. Otherwise he would take too much damage. Now my main my main task is to kinda track graves. Um, until I have my ignite up, I want to be absolutely sure. And my level six comes with kind of this wave or the next wave, so should be uh, two minions until. So I see Grace bot side. That is perfect for me. This wave is even slow pushing back to me. Uh, the Silas uh, every carry here is doomed. Um, there's no no other um, describing his situation. He can't fix this lane on his own anymore. He's basically totally at the ha at my hands. The only thing that can kind of screw it up for me is my team playing poorly ab around him leaving the lane. I just I just slow snowball our game. I kind of want to force him to stay mid, so I'm playing backwards, force him to use Q per minion. He's getting really tilted there. Oh lord, poor Envy carry. <clears throat> Yikes, he's going to lose so many minions there. Look at this. I get a ward in here just to track them. Yeah, they, they, he is coming or or doing weird stuff, so... <laughs> let's, let's get him a little bit more mad here, guys. Let's get him a little bit more mad here. Oh lord, he is going to be so mad. Holy shit. I think he's hardly ever had a harder lane than this. Look at look at this wave. Um, he's kind of juggling back and forth, not knowing what he can do and what not. <laughs> oh, he cancelled me this time. Wow, he cancelled me with with um with the dash. Oh my lord, that was so unlucky. I didn't expect him to use E there immediately. Um the second E. Wow, that was okay. And now I went I went too aggressive there in my pathing. My lord. That was so unlucky. If he gets into the turret there, he doesn't get out anymore. He's just dead. So the can cancelling of my of my of my R what was what basically kind of s s totally saved his game here. Now the matchup is... Now I have to play the matchup a little bit more precise, sadly. That was a free lane, by the way, at this point. Man, that's unfortunate. What I'll have to do at this point is I'll have to play a little bit more around the push and poke more aggressively with my mana. Um, so that he is too low HP to even take a single fight with me. And create the priority mid lane. So this is priority. I can I can move here. This, this wave is, is fucked for him.
Um, I'm not certain how this is going to play out. So the lane is gone for him. I have to play it safe. I don't even make it there. Mm, that's unfortunate. Can you come? No, he doesn't. Get to come here. Oh no, what? Why is he puffing there? What the fuck? Where is he puffing to? Oh my lord. He has to puff with me. Otherwise, he's not gonna be safe. We got the Drake. It was pretty unlucky overall. I have to say. Bye, my friend. Wow, sadly, um, sadly he got a kill. Actually, I'll push this wave mid lane. Fuck it. Oh, I didn't get over the wall. I need to push this wave because it's a slow push anyway, and Silas backed on it, so. Oh, he backed super early, in fact. Um, I need this one. <laughs> Actually, it's sad that the, rook, the Ezreal even took the kill on Graves. My lord, that's un unfortunate, to say the least. Look at his. Okay, actually this is going to be a game where I test the new Korean build, um, but with Hail of Blades over, over Electrocute. Hmm, he's trying to, to freeze it too. And he's successful at it. I have to play it safe here. Hmm, actually this is not even a real freeze. Okay, I'll wait actually until I can back on the full item. Because, um, because this one doesn't really help me. Revolver. I can't use the auto attack buffering. Okay. He's thinking the entire wave and I cleared it, so yeah, fine by me. Um, I need... 100 or 200 more gold <coughs> to back on it, so I uh, saw the CP top. Let's hope that they're managing to somehow do something there. Or survive, or just about anything would be helpful. Okay, he's on a killing spree, that is pretty unlucky. I'm up 20 CS and I should be equal level. I guess it's okay. It's pretty unlucky how the game went for the last two minutes or so. Yeah, plus one. But it's okay. I got two plates. Aatrox goes mid lane here. I'll go get this, this, and this. Oh, I didn't get the pink ward, but I have no time to wait. Um, I don't want Aatrox to get more than one plate. I'm not certain whether Camille wins against Aatrox or the other way, uh, or against Silas or the other way around. Oh no, Echo, no, 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 you. Oh no, Echo, you. You didn't need to die there. <sighs> it seems Silas is coming back to mid lane, so I have to be safe. Nope, he's not. So I can push. I'm not certain this is going to work, he has so much healing. Oh guys, oh team, not like this, please. Actually it was rather interesting, the freeze was rather potent against Aatrox, but yeah, sadly our Echo committed way too much. Grace took a lot of damage, same for Silas. But you don't want it, he has, it's a Silas. He's just gonna heal. Okay. 
Okay, that's a flash by Grace at least. Yeah, what? I can't reach Grace there, so it's worth he flashed. I'll go mid lane again. Uh, I'm pretty scared about the fact that my team kind of wants to fight Silas um, because they're melees and he has a pretty good battle against melees with his with his um, W. There's so much healing coming from that that it is so kind of kind of feels so bad to fight against him as a melee. I'm I lost a lot of CS in all that time that's been gone. Let's see how this is going to play out. Okay, he's rather tanky. <laughs> okay, he's also going in R. Kinda, the item doesn't have... Oh, it does have way more mana though than the Luna's Echo, so that's pretty helpful. Actually, this is pretty good because it gives more mana than Luden's Echo, and sometimes with Luden's Echo you still have mana problems. Not not a lot, but um, it can happen. And it's pretty uh, disgusting when you have problems despite going mana as an item. My team. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to complain, they're overextending again. But um, they just want to shoot back. We have so much cross map play. Silas has uh, the Rakan R, so yeah, we want to be a bit precise with everything that's going on. Just back it, just back it. Oh team, not like this, please, not like this. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. The item is much uh, much less costly than Luden's Echo and basically has the same stats if not better. I prefer a bit more mana over a bit more AP, so yes. That is huge. I was kind of um I was kind of stuck there, not gonna lie. I was scared that could have gone pretty close. I was able to follow his his flash, luckily. Oh my lord. Um Yeah, that was really good. So let's see. I got my first needle seed out shot. Actually I like this build. Maybe I'll change it. Holy shit. That's a lot of a lot of good good options for um titling and and uh, thumbnailing. Oh my lord. Yeah, that is just doom. They're way too deep. They're in over the head. They're coming here. My friend. My friend and fellow. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of damage against the Aatrox there. That's pretty helpful. We only traded one pe person. And Camille got some top lane counterplay again. Oh, I'll take it. It is playable like this. We need to get the vision priority in their jungle now, so that would be helpful. Oh, I got double dark seals. Whoopsie. That I didn't even recognize that. That pink ward is actually the best spot. If you put it here, it sometimes doesn't put the entire vision on, on the one corner. So this is a pretty good spot for a pink ward. Reels both sides of this kind of situation. Um, I should play against the side of the snow. Um, here is real. That is just a, a full tower for free for him. Is real? Will you come? No. Okay, he uses. My Ezreal is weird. My Ezreal is really weird. Wait, there was a pink, so I'll take that down first. That gives me enough gold. To oh, I, I sell my my dark seal anyway to free up a slot. Okay, um, second lead out shot is ready. Um, the Drake is ready. We should go for a team fight for sure here. This is um, 
perfect spot actually to, to do a good team fight. If Camille takes a reset, um, at least. The thing about this is, um, I'm pretty good against Kaiser. Uh, I just need someone to, to uh, burst the Silas because of um, his MR and HP build. I kind of need this this prior mid, uh, mid lane. Okay, they kind of concede the, the Drake. Want the prior and rotate Nash. Yeah, the damage is pretty... The, the bursty builds are really strong right now because it is a de very damage focus oriented meta. There's a lot of squishy champs around right now. So this is like this is like pretty important stuff here. How much I shred her. Like yeah. Um well Camille was over pushed and the Ezra is still going to split push for whatever reason. Okay. What's going on now? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to fight this. Nope. Oh, what is going on with my team here? Like, what are you doing? We are so winning this game already if we group. <laughs> Okay, Ezra is, is so strong, and it's pretty sad that we're not playing around this so much earlier. <laughs> I, I, like, I am at a loss for words, not going to lie. I'm pretty good with words, usually. <laughs> um, hence, I'm talking all my all my games, and will once I stream, be talking kind of a lot. But we are so winning with a 5v5. I don't understand why the Ezra felt the need to kind of split for one more wave on the bot side for two more camps or so, it was so awkward. Like we have an insane teamfight between Ezreal, Azir, Rakan. Even Camille is rather useful in teamfights with her R. Um, but I guess I need, I need, like I can't really buy anything right now, so I need just need to stay. 600 gold doesn't transpose into anything meaningful, um, so I went for the blue pot because this is going to be the most important phase. I kind of shouldn't have done that because not going for blue pot would have given had me enough gold here to buy Rabadons completed. But blue pot has so much value as an item for those 500 gold that it kind of rivals the Rabadons um, effect right now for those next minutes, which are the most crucial. We just should group, no? Like, why why would we split? Okay, I need to kind of get the pink word here. Aatrox took a lot of damage there. Yeah, we're just trying to defend our vision, which is helpful at times. To defend the deep vision that we get in. So Camille is... Oh, nice. That is good. We get a lot here now. Beautiful, beautiful. It's looking looking good right now, looking good. We get the turret here. Not a lot of counterplay that they can have. Actually, actually, I feel like we kind of outperformed them on most ro roles here. Um, this should be at least a bot lane in hit too. The Grex is just dead there. No? Oh, well, he lives close, but he lives. Um, Camille is in a world of trouble there. No, I can't help her. Wait, yeah, no, I can't. I have my passive here if we go. Hmm. 
Oh, that was kind of an unlucky fight for us here. This blue buff is gone too, so I got my Robodons here. It is okay. It's not even a big loss. Um, Robodons, I can buy another blue pot actually. That is worth. We go for this Drake, and then we go top side or mid lane. Doesn't really matter too much. They can't really uh, lane straight up against us because we outranged them. We have the better engage and we have more, just straight up more damage right now and way more, yeah, way more um, threats to, to be dealt with. Like Ezreal, me, and Echo, and Camille are all incredibly strong in their own right. Um, while they have always pushing lanes on the side, so we just go all top lane and finish this shit. <clears throat> hmm, I don't see how this is going to play out. I can't really I can't really commit everything here. Aatrox is just dead. So we just chill, let Ezreal take this wave and finish the game. Um, well, unless we won't finish the game, because someone wants to push in mid lane. It's done anyway. That is always a kind of mentality I wonder about in solo queue. It's the mentality to do what one thinks is best when basically everyone or there's kind of a uniform agreement to what is best. Um, like in this situation we knew, okay, we have a pushing bot lane, we have a pushing mid lane. Our hyper carry scalers are extremely ahead of the ahead of the clock. Um, all we want to do is um, push as a five man unit against their team, which has zero to, or li little to zero wave clear um, capability. capability. Um, Kai'Sa, doesn't really have a lot of AoE um, against minions, especially. Um, she's much more single target uh, focused. And uh, yeah, she's just really actually lacking uh, as in her ability to to hit uh, large groups of units like minion waves. Um, and one of them obviously has to clear side lane. We have the way higher range and poke. We just need to pour in those minions, yeah? Just pour in the minions. Just pour them in. Turret's nearly down. Just back it off. Just back it off. That is good. That is exactly good. Unless our echo dies. Rakan R is um, pretty insane. We got one turret. <laughs> Echoes leaving, <laughs> I guess, for whatever. They have item advantage and level advantage now, so it's going to be annoying. Um, that is that is true. Um, but it was would be a free Nash if we go for it. The yeah, the Grace is dead there. We go for this. We go for the Nash.
the longer he's dead he's uh, staying alive it's actually the better for us like where is he going to go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a Nash <laughs> and the Drake has a follow-up for free because he died so late um, yeah, there's one next turret left. So the kind of problem with the triple inhib was that um, we kind of failed to not get poked and use our CDs before anything important happened. Um, they're trying to fight us here, that is for sure. I'm level 15, so we have a kind of level disadvantage in me versus Silas comparison. Okay, this is gone, so that's good. Echo, please no solo bolo plays. Please no solo bolo plays here. Using the term of um, Bows for fuck's sake, who is actually a pretty cool um, streamer. Uh, I really enjoy this guy. He's very um, funny, entertaining, and still is a rather like chill and, and friendly person. Uh, or he, at least his personality that he shows is really friendly and chill. Which is kind of refreshing uh, when you look at how many toxic and unfriendly persons there are uh, streaming with toxicity just because it is kind of kind of tuning up all of these little um, kiddos that are um, kind of um, getting getting erected by uncivilized behavior. This is a problem here again. We don't want to fight this, no. Do we want to fight this? No, we want to fight this with such a team fight setup. Oh, that is a whole new, sto new story. Now oh, that is a whole new story here. Man, it took some time, but actually, overall, it was a pretty clean stomp for a solo queue comparison. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you could see just how brutally out I um, destroyed the Silas early on. Uh, made a slight mistake, um, but still was pretty ahead and yeah, kind of kept them from coming back. Have a great day and arise.